When my relationship ended, she was waiting for me. I fell into her embrace as a sailor falls into a sea he knows he will not resurface and this has always been a tender, gentle love, more than any I've experienced before. On our second date, I took her to bed, spent hours watching her, exploring the deepest corners of her, falling asleep with the sound of her. And the best part is, she doesn't charge by the hour. Instead, it's $8 a month. Oh, Netflix, you are everything I've ever wanted in a woman. You've got comedy, drama, romance, hints of family. You have movies about bacon, hot dogs, and cookies. Yum. <laughs> seem to know me better than I know myself because your suggestions make my toes curl. This has always been a tender, gentle love, despite the fact I know you sleep around. Sometimes it's hard to swallow the knowledge that every night you are in more beds than mine. Sometimes it's hard to have to see your other loves and constellations made from the five-star ratings that litter your body, and it seems like our relationship is built on a close of charge. I think that sometimes you miss me, though, which is comforting. You're always asking me, are you still watching? And I promise you I'll never say no. My passion briefly evolved into a two-way street as I began to give back to you. You told me you were cheap, that you seemed to see out of the belly of crime, so I took you to black tie events, introduced you to a different side of life on the other side of cell force, where orange is not the new black baby. I've taken you on more exotic dates than any of your predecessors. We've christened bedrooms in more than four different countries now, but my favorite is when we just stay at home. I want to spend cold winter days wrapped up in you, just waiting for the next season to come. <laughs> this has always been a tender, gentle love, but I'm starting to notice things I missed before. You are reminding me that I need a membership to date you. I am just a part of your club. We are changing. This romance is mutating into something more like jail cell. You are becoming overprotective, keeping me inside all day, isolating me from my friends, and eventually I broke and lashed out at you. You were gone for one month before I renewed our partnership with shaky fingers and all the credit I have to my name. I'm trying to drink you in like a stream before this dream fades away for the last time. I know our connection is weaker because you have been flickering and stuttering and you're not the confident woman I fell in love with. I have damaged you. You are telling me there's a problem, telling me to contact someone else and giving me the codes to do it. I don't know how to tell you. I can't do that anymore. You are my companion on the lonely nights. You are the only constant in this unbalanced teenage equation. Netflix! I need you.